how are you guys doing? We're gonna play Lila for a change. Because I got tired of spamming all cards, so we're gonna play Layla and I'm gonna talk about um, how to use map awareness to avoid dying as an immobile marksman like we like Layla. Okay. We can do it. So the method basic method that I'm gonna use to read the map is called counting <laughs> counting method so I'm just gonna count the enemies visible on the map and then guess where the remaining enemies are and then um, make a move based on those information Alright, so we're in the game and in the in the hero selection screen Helkert said that he wanted to go solo but so let's just let him be I'm going top and it's good that Harriet left me so I can get all the experience and gold from the minions So now let's start and we can see two people in the bottom lane and two people in mid lane and one person here which is a long so no one's missing so when you are a marksman don't do don't do well anyone even if it's a melee hero or another marksman don't do well anyone just focus on farming because you you may die if that other person that you're trying to do well has a teammate nearby or is a lot more skilled than you think you can get outplayed and you don't want to you don't want to uh, do any risky fights so now Zilong is missing and the mo most efficient thing that I can do here is farm the crab because it's easier and I have Retribution. Oh, I didn't have retribution. I used it earlier. Now focus on farming. As you can see here, I'm not. I'm just last hit. Or I'm just hitting the minions within my maximum area of attack. You can see the circle appearing around my character. That's the my maximum range. I'm just hitting the minions there because I don't want to be engaged on by Zilong so if he moves forward I move back it's just like a dance now back to the minions this is boring but this is the proper way of playing marksman because marksmen are weak in the early game but very strong when they get items so your focus is to get items not to do well your lane opponent getting the other minion here as you can see in the map almost all the enemies are seen on the minimap itself except for Ling so with someone missing you shouldn't be aggressive you shouldn't play aggressive so we should note here that if I see if I saw Zilong somewhere else on the map except in the top lane where I was I would push the top wave and take the tower but since he's here I'm just gonna last the minions and push him push the wave to him now I can roam to mid lane because my, the creep wave is far and I don't have anything to do I decided to see if the here I spot lane 
so I immediately, I immediately back away because I don't want to get engaged on by two people two versus one is really something you should avoid at all times I'm just gonna hug my tower so that I would the, they, were, they would not engage on me farm the minion farm the jungle minion here Okay, back to the lane minions. As you can see, I am, not, I am doing my best to be outside of Zelong's skill. I'm just hitting the minions with my maximum rage. So, when do I fight Zelong? I will fight Zelong if somebody from my team comes here on top and helps me fight him because that way we will have an advantage and we're we have a higher chance of killing him or pressuring the tower but by myself I won't try to do anything because I don't have the assurance that the enemy Zilong is not mechanically good or he he wouldn't be able to outplay me. I am I am not sure about that. So I'm just playing it safe. Because in the long run, if I get my items, I will just three shot this enemy so long. So you just wait for your opportunity to kill them. Now because I am playing safe, I can see that they're trying to fight me two versus one. And I am just eliminating all the risks of me dying here. So the the Frank is here. As you can see, we're two v two, but I'm not engaging because Frank should be the one go versus three v two. Still, I'm staying behind. In the tower. Then the rest of the gang shows up. Then I use my skills to help them kill the, the enemies. Now you see that time I fought the enemies because more peop we have more people than the enemies on on my lane. So now I saw Ling and then I saw Mia. I'm not gonna try to fight Mia because I saw just saw Ling. I'm just gonna try to poke her. And then my ally shows up and then I'm gonna try to help her. But looks like she didn't need my help. Oh then uh, I just KS using my ultimate it's alright to KS because you're a marksman you need the gold and the items to be useful late game now I'm just gonna farm the nearest jungle monster as a marksman you should just fight when enemies are super low or when your team engages on the enemy i saw ling here in the bottom lane a while ago so i'm not gonna gonna push this all the way I'm just gonna stay here and watch where the enemies are because no one is no one is seen at the minimap bruno on top ling in the bottom lane you can see that so i'm just gonna farm here because i have retribution So the enemies are on top. I saw you, Dora. So imagine if I tried to fight Ling a while ago when I saw him. That would be two versus two with you, Dora. There, I would, I would be dead. So farm the red buff. I'm just, I'm just, I'm really just uh, looking for Ling at this point because. He can easily kill me because I don't have any escape escape skills. So he's just apparently he's just waiting for me to overstep, but I won't do that. I'm just gonna wait for the minions to crash to my tower and farm them. I can see Ling here on that uh, upper side. I'm still not gonna push this one all the way to the tower. 
gonna wait for him to show up he shows up on mid the lane so i'm free to push, push this one because all the enemies are on the other side of the map push this one as you can see they're still fighting in the mid lane so i'm i am gonna prioritize the tower over helping my teammates because they're winning by themselves and i am late to the party so even if i show up there the fight would almost be over so i just took the tower two towers i just took two towers so that we will have the gold and map map advantage farm some more as you can see i i just focus on farming and stuff and as i joined my team here you will see that my damage is insane because i've got the level i'm the highest level character in this game now highest level and then the one with the most items all because i avoid fighting and made sure i didn't die look at my damage there i just three hit the enemies along bam tried to KS but okay poor dead and Ling is in the bottom so we're free to push this one if it's not gonna defend we're gonna finish the game looks like he isn't defending so that's it easy game right so if you ask a question what if my teammates are feeding so I'm still gonna do the same thing because you can't do you can't initiate as a marksman as a Layla so you just have to farm and then wait for your time to shine all right guys thank you for watching